So the state is hoping to cut down on dangerous fires that burn hotter and longer. Fires like this one. Mm. The fire was sparked by a lithium ion battery that exploded. You heard the explosion. These batteries are used in a lot of electronic devices from cell phones to scooters to cars. News Project reporter Aaron Farrar is live this morning. And Aaron, there's a chance the Florida State Fire Marshal's office will be able to create new rules about how to safely store these batteries. This battery that we use for our camera is an example of a lithium ion battery. Last September, it was determined that there are no state regulations right now when it comes to safely storing or even charging these kind of batteries. The risk for fires would increase if these kind of batteries are not handled properly. Right now, there are two different bills that could change all of that that are headed to the full House and the Senate for a vote. So there, this is a look at what can happen if one of those batteries explodes and it starts with smoke and it can lead to fires that can spread quickly. Those bills would give the Florida State Fire Marshal's office rights to create rules for these batteries. Florida's Chief Financial Officer Jimmy Petronas supports the proposed bills and would also like to see safely and safety measures implemented along with tools for firefighters to use in case they have to deal with fires like that. This is an example of a fire that destroyed a house in E-Town last June. It was caused from a lithium ion battery in a golf cart that was parked in a garage. No one was hurt, thankfully, even though a father and his two sons were home when that fire started. The Consumer Product Safety Commission recorded more than 25,000 cases of fires over the last 10 years and involved 400 kinds of devices. Some things to remember when it comes to handling these batteries include only using charging equipment that comes with that specific product that you purchased. Do not charge the batteries overnight. Watch for different warning signs, like the battery can unexpectedly warm up or you can hear cracking sounds. Do not throw the batteries in the trash. Instead, take them to a recycling center when they are no longer needed. Right now, there's no timetable of when the full house and the Senate will end up voting on these proposed bills. We're live this morning. I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, the local station. Now, earlier this month, we showed you just some of the scenarios of lithium-ion battery fires. JFRD showed news for Jack's consumer reporter Tiffany, Sal Tiffany Salome. Uh, what goes on behind these fires and the new dangers they pose for firefighters? Watch Up in Flames on newsforjax.com and News for Jacks Plus.